Hi, this is Steve with SublimationInkUSA.com and I'm going to do a demonstration on how to uh, prime, vent and prime this uh, 2200 uh, Epson cartridge. This is a refillable cartridge and can be reused over and over. Uh, so after it is uh, done with as a cleaning cartridge, if you want, you can go ahead and purchase ink, which we have readily available and then you can go ahead and use these as a refillable cartridge as well as your cleaning cartridge. Right now it's full of uh, cleaning fluid and you'll notice that the cleaning fluid is black even though it is the black cartridge they're all universally going to be black because they're tinted so that when you do a nozzle cleaning cycle you can readily see uh, the print nozzle test uh, using the dyed cleaning fluid and so Basically, to in, before you install the cartridge and get it ready for the printer, all you're going to do is you're going to remove the vent plug. The vent plug is generally going to be the area where you see uh, somewhat of a, a clear spot right here or an empty spot where there's no ink. You're going to take the rubber plug that is in the cartridge, you're going to take that out because the cartridge needs to be vented to the outside air. And there we go, cartridge is vented now, and now you can go ahead and take the provided syringe and using the plastic tip you're going to oops we got the wrong tip here hang on one second we'll get another one. all right here we go now we got the correct one this is a slightly smaller tip the correct tip and you're going to simply insert this through the plastic membrane just push it straight in just like that turn it a little bit and then you'll notice in order to be able to prime the cartridge what you're going to want to do is the syringe currently is coming at 90 degrees straight out you're going to want to tip the syringe just a little bit in one direction just off to the side really makes no difference what side you're going to do it on you're going to pull down and then when you get a flow of cleaning fluid there we go a couple of drops of cleaning fluid just came into the syringe we're going to just go ahead and we're going to undo this and there we go it's ready to go you can now go ahead and install this cartridge into the printer. The uh, hole is vented. The vent hole is open, which is very important. That must be done uh, before priming, and then you can go ahead and install this one. Each cartridge has to be done the same way, and you must run a complete uniform set of the cleaning cartridges for this to work. We gen generally recommend that you install the cartridges and then wait about 15 seconds Go ahead and uh, then run a nozzle check and a cleaning cycle and then let the printer sit for about four hours, repeat that, and then go ahead and wait for about one or two days to see how things are improving. You should start to see improvement. Uh, by week's end, you generally will have a completely cleared printer. For printers that are really badly plugged, you might want to let it go a little bit longer, but usually one to two weeks max and you'll be up and running again. Uh, the cleaning cartridges and inks as well as sublimation inks are readily available at sublimationinkusa.com. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.